Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to get any character you want on Fighter Factory and win Mugen, or Mugen, whatever the hell it is, how, however you pronounce it. But yeah, this is a tutorial from Hard Glitches HD, and I hope you enjoy it. So, first of all, what you want to do, you want to make a new folder on your desktop, and you want to call it, well you can call it whatever you want really, I'm just going to call it, um, I just call it when you don't, uh, when you don't fight up. So what you want to do in the second step is open up your internet browser. So Firefox, Google Chrome, Next Door, or whatever you have. And you want to go on Google, or yeah, Google I suppose is best. Go to images, and this is how to get any character you want instead of drawing it in Paint, or like, because it's easier to get it off the internet. Because if you draw it in Paint, it's a lot harder, and on this you can get the perfect movements right and everything. So whatever character you want, you can do anything you want, so I'll just Stewie or Family Guy. But if I was you, I wouldn't do Stewie or Peter or anyone really from any cartoons like this because see they've got yellows, like light colours, reds, blacks and browns and all that and it's really hard to get the colours in. So I'll do something easier, so I'll just do a Colourful stick man. Uh, just get something simple like this. Because, okay, it's moving, that's a bit retarded. But, it's that's going to be kind of easy because it's not too hard and it's not that many colours. So, put it in the folder that you just made on the desktop. No, yeah, when you can fight your document. Yeah, quick, call it whatever it says, save, but if it's too complicated, like something with loads of numbers, just change it to whatever you want. Once you've done that, close the page, there we go. It should pop up, there we go, it's in there. Don't tell me it's moving. Oh, hurry up. Oh, it's opening. It's not cool. Okay, it should be fine, I think. But... Yeah, once you've done that, you want to go into paint, so it's available for the, the fighting factory, because you can't open it unless it's a 24-bit document. So, you want to leave this white thing, the box, for the paint thing, the way it is, otherwise it might mess it up. There's like a 70% chance that it might mess it up, because I've done it loads of times, I've moved it and it hasn't worked. So, go into this, desktop and go into that file that you've just opened. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. That's that. Should open up. Whoa, that's a bit small. Actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right, now save it back in the... What the fuck? Save it back in the folder that you made it. So... Yeah, it should be in there. Yeah, that's cool. Don't worry, I've already got... Right, just save it again, just in case it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's shot. What? Yeah, but that's good. Press OK when it says transparency will be lost. You don't need that for the uh, fighting factory. Now you want to open up fighting factory. Actually, where are two minutes? I think I'm having a mistake. I forgot to save it as a 24-bit document. Two seconds. Open it from the desktop here. There we go. Right now, now, save it again. Oh. Save as, sorry, as 24 bitmap. This one, the BMT, DID stuff. Call it stick figure. There we go. There we go. Right now, X that out. And there should be two in there. Right, let's delete this one. Right there. Yeah, go. Delete this one. The GIF thing. See? Right, delete that one with all the stuff around it. This is the one you want because it's the the uh, BI bitmap thing. So now open up your fighting fighter factory. I've got classic, but you can use uh, whatever the other one is ultimate. I think you can use that, but this one's just easier. That's why I use it. So what you want to do? You want to go into file. You want to go into templates and elect elect character player. Sorry, and uh, it should come up with this little white dot here. That's fine. And go into palettes. Once you go onto this palette thing, like I said, you open up your image here, where it says open, go
go on to the folder that you made, this one, and well, it should just come up with no items even though you've just saved it. That's when you have to go into Windows Bitmap, this one, and open up your document. And once you've done that, because the colours haven't popped up yet, you press this little blue TV, and ah, it comes up with all the colours. But like I said, if it was um, Peter or Stuart, it would come, I've tried it before, it comes up to down here, all different colours. So what you have to do, you have to click on the first colour, drag it across, and then click the colour button. You have to do it for all them. So I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to show you when I've done it all. Guys, I've done it now. See, all the colours are here. And once you've done that, you want to save this. And save it in the same, um, uh, same folder that you made in the video. And just call it stick figure. And it should be BMP for the bitmap thing. Just right over it. Just save it. Let's start again. <coughs> Sorry about that. And just, uh, once you've done that, you want to. Oh, it works. You go down. I still, mm, character name, just call it man, and then man again. Date of creation, do it whatever you did it on. So mine is 24th of January, uh, 24th of January, mm, yeah, 2012. Mugen version. This, whenever you download Mugen, it will come with a folder saying whatever version. I didn't really pay attention to that. So normally what I do, I just do 2003 because it's the newest one. And go on author name, standard palette order. Uh, put comma one, comma two, comma three, comma four, and comma five. Well, you might not need five, but actually just put it in case, just in case. Right, final name. Call it man. Dot f f. Oh, s f f. Sorry, s f f. And do it for the rest of these. See s and d, and then all the same. Dot s and d. Dot ar. Dot c and d. And I'll come back to you once I've done that. Guys, I've done all these now. See, look, all these, they should all have dot, whatever that is. So once you've done that, it will come up with this thing, common one. Yours might be different, it might be common dot, some other stuff. But just leave it like that. And with the player act, you want to delete it, and you want to call it whatever you call your person. I call my man, so yours can be stiff, bigger, or whoever's a strip man. Okay. Man dot act. Like that, and don't worry about all this shit down here. That's fine. So just leave them. Now you want to press save, and just right there, and you want to call it man. Okay, what did I call my stick figure BMP? Yeah, and that should all be in the same folder. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. Once you've done that.